you see an individual whose net worth was in the billions go to zero to your point or in like a couple days, two days. You've made it to Not Billable, the Law Trades podcast that brings you bite-sized legal and business news updates, full event replays, and conversations with legal pros about what's going on behind the scenes every week. In the course of no more than two weeks, the the golden boy, the the titan of crypto himself, Sam Bankman Fried, who who had FTX, which was a, a public uh, exchange platform, and then the sister company Alameda Research, which was a private hedge fund. Uh, November first, everything seemed okay. He, he was a, a god amongst men in the crypto world. November 2nd, Coindesk publishes a, a bombshell report that basically calls into question uh, um, FTX's uh, trade practices, something called a FTT, which was their, uh, um, their, their token that they would use on the exchange. Sure. We won't get too into the weeds here, um, but basically said, we think they're insolvent. We've looked at their, at their balance sheets and we think that FTX is insolvent. Within a few days, Binance, which started out as kind of an early investor in FTX, is now kind of a friendly rival, was the number one or number two exchange sure. in the world, uh, along with FTX, dumps $2 billion worth of FTT, which starts a rush on FTX. And by the end of the week, FTX and Alameda are declaring bankruptcy. This is not somebody no one's ever heard of running mm -hmm. maybe a large fund, but you know, kind of operating in the background and, and you know, something went wrong. Uh, there was a run on the fund and, and now they're bankrupt. Sure. This was somebody who was heralded as the god of crypto the genius in the room <laughs> the genius. Uh, but that's how it's he true. was treated that's how he how was many treated. articles were about him yeah you're right and, and, and I, I don't know how how it was in florida but in la i remember as crypto winter was starting kind of this summer and earlier this year uh sbf as he's known sam bankman fried sbf literally had posters all around town with, with his face on it, kind of saying that FTX was going to save the day and come over to FTX and, and all these things. He, he was everywhere and he was heralded well, galore. It, yeah. But there was a sudden, the emperor has no clothes moment and, and within the blink of an eye, crash and burn. It, that, how does that that's happen? That's exactly what happened. It, it's to that point. So in Miami, FTX was, I think the Heat Stadium. It literally mm -hmm. is, which is now subsequently being changed. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was very similar because he was all SBF was also um, acting to try to bail out certain players in the crypto industry. You're right. He was mm -hmm. being heralded as this hero of crypto. You're right. This wonder mm -hmm. boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like probably late twenties, early thirties, yeah. him and his group of, yeah, yeah. Him and his group of friends in the Bahamas, um, you know, effectively like heralding this web three future. Yeah. Um, and what you found is I think someone that had said this the best, you know, because people are comparing this either to Enron or to Theranos, right? Right. Uh, it's not Theranos. It's not like I have this idea and I'm trying to do it and I, and I end up engaging in these unscrupulous practices right. to try to reach this right. goal, which never happens. I they He perpetuated, at least from the allegations that we're seeing across the board, he potentially perpetuated this huge fraud. That's what it was. So he wasn't yep. a golden boy, if, yep. if all the facts were proven true. He was... He was, he was a, a crook. Yeah. He was a crook. <laughs> he was a criminal. Check us out also on LinkedIn and Twitter to keep up to speed with what we're doing. Catch you on the next one.